It's a three-way defence partnership between Australia, the UK and the US, and the centrepiece is an agreement for Britain and Australia to build the first generation of SSN AUKUS submarines. They will eventually replace Britain's astute-class hunter-killers, so what will they look like? Its design is likely to continue, build on and advance the stealth technology of Britain's astute-class hunter-killers and America's own Virginia-class fast attack submarines. In appearance, the new subs could resemble this, the Dreadnought class, being built by BAE Systems at Barrow in Finesse. They're likely to be smaller and won't be Britain's continuous at sea nuclear deterrent like the Dreadnought, but they will be larger than the Astute class and designed for interoperability, with a similar nuclear reactor built by Rolls Royce in the UK. While the Astute class can only fire Tomahawk missiles using torpedo tubes, the SSN AUKUS version will likely include payload modules for vertical launch missiles and space for medium-sized unmanned underwater vehicles, all part of the interoperability spec. Australian personnel will train with the Royal Navy and US Navy in the UK and US. The Astute class will remain the backbone of Britain's submarine fleet until the late 2030s, when the first SSN AUKUS submarines are expected to be delivered with the first Australian submarines following in the early 2040s. The SSN AUKUS submarine will be the largest, most advanced and most powerful attack submarine ever operated by the Royal Navy, combining world-leading sensors, design and weaponry in one vessel. Until all that is in place, American submarines will increase port visits to Australia from this year, with the UK increasing visits from 2026, all part of the AUKUS deal to increase security in the Indo-Pacific. The US is also selling three Virginia-class subs to Australia in the 2030s to fulfil its need for a nuclear-powered submarine until the SSN AUKUS submarines are operational. Stuart Rumble, Forces News.